Well, it's the second week of April, and we're looking at interviewing Daniela Garcia, our administrative assistant. She's been working for us since October, and uh, we'd like to find out a little bit more about her as she continues to hold together uh, all the things that are required to be done in the office for our North Toronto Community Church. Hi, Daniela. Hello, how are you, Beth? Good. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Let's see. Uh, I was born in Argentina. I moved to Canada when I was 13 years old. And like I said, I've been with you since October. But uh, before that, I worked at the Mian Health Center for about two years as a receptionist. I started uh, on the long-term care. I only had uh, one shift a week. And then slowly I worked my way up to well, uh, part-time, sorry over at the Mian Retirement Center. I worked uh, closely with Albert and the rest of the administrative staff over there. Yes, we have a number of people from our core who are working there or living there. Uh, so we feel very tuned to the Mian Health Center. And especially now, as uh, things are difficult with our COVID and they're really in lockdown there, we pray especially for them. Now, how long, we, how long have you known the Salvation Army and how did you find out about the Salvation Army in the first place and what do you think about our mission and our values? Well, actually I've pretty much seen the Army around ever since I moved to Toronto. I used to do many over at Davisville and I used to see the Mian all the time. I used to walk by there and it's funny how, how life turns out that uh, I ended up working there so many years later. Um, I have church close to my house over on Weston and, uh, and Eglinton. There's a church also over by my sister's house. So I always think, and I always be driving by and wondering, you know, what would it be like to work in an environment as such? And here I am. And we're glad you are. And what's it like working here? What kinds of things do you do? It can be very busy here sometimes. Uh, we have people coming in asking for assistance of all kinds, uh, be it food-wise or clothes vouchers. And I really enjoy helping people out with whatever it might be that they're coming in asking for that day. And she mans the phones beautifully and looks after our cartridges and recording things, sending out mailings. Uh, she's, she's a busy person and we appreciate and value her work. Well, what do you want the North Toronto community to know about what you do and how they can help you best as you serve them and the people who come for assistance from the community? Well, just to be patient in these times, sometimes can get a little hectic and, and very busy. Uh, so just be patient and give me as much information as I can so I can guide them in the best way I can. If they have the option of phoning or sending an email, is there a better one for you uh, to the NT Community Church at gmail.com? Uh, address or is it better to phone and leave a message? Either phone or email. Either way I'm constantly checking both so either one works. Okay. And uh, we also know that Danielle has a daughter who's been helping us out from home working on a little Mother's Day project uh, so some of you may see the fruits of that in the coming weeks. Would you like to tell us about your relationship with Jesus and how he fuels the things that you do here? Well, I think Jesus is my my man man right now or always. Um, I always make sure to say thank you every day for waking up and each night, no matter how the day was, has gone. Some days, you know, not all days are perfect, but I thank him anyway. and, and uh, ask him to give me the strength or the patience that I need the next day to to do my job better as if, if I didn't do I don't feel I did a good job the day before 
and uh, yeah, just always be grateful for what I have and strive for more. He's always working at transforming us and making us new. For sure. And we're grateful for that. As we're grateful for Daniela's work in these days. So that's Daniela Garcia. She's working tirelessly in the background sometimes, uh, but we appreciate every member of the team. And we know that every member has its role and their particular gifts in serving the Lord. Thank you, Daniela, for being the uh, person of the interview today. And thank you to all of you. We pray for you and lift you up in these times. We'll hopefully see you again next month. All being well.